Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to walk you guys through every single piece of gear that you need to get started saddle hunting. I will have a link to everything in the description below. So that is where you can find it. By the time that you are done watching this video, you will know exactly what you need to get started. So let's jump right in. First and foremost, you are going to need a saddle. I have a saddle by Trophy Line and a saddle by Tethered. Now, both of these are great options, so you can't go wrong either way. I will be filming a video comparing these two saddles and really going into depth about their features, their price, their comfort, so stay tuned for that. But that is piece of gear number one. Next thing you'll need is a lineman's belt. This will be used as your safety harness or safety device as you are climbing the tree. With your lineman's belt, you will need at least one carabiner, if not two, depending on how you attach it to your saddle. And I would highly recommend a ropeman. Your ropeman replaces the prusik knot. Now, if you are looking to save as much money as possible, you can skip the ropeman, but if you can squeeze out a little extra coin, I would definitely recommend getting one. It makes it so much easier to adjust your belt as you're climbing instead of having to fuss with the prusik knot with both hands, puts you at greater risk of falling, and it becomes a much bigger headache. So Ropeman is an optional piece of gear, but one that I would highly recommend considering. Next, you will need your tether rope. This is what will wrap around the tree and tether you to the tree and allow you to be in position to saddle hunt. You'll need one carabiner to go along with your tether rope. You may want to consider purchasing a second Ropeman. So that would be a Ropeman for your lineman's belt and a Ropeman for your tether. I personally am not using a Ropeman on my tether. I'm okay with the Prusik knot because I don't adjust the length of my tether as often as I do with my lineman's belt. With the lineman's belt, as you climb the tree, inevitably it's going to get skinnier and skinnier as you climb. So in order to stay safe and stay comfortable, you're going to need to shorten your lineman's belt and the Ropeman makes it so much easier. Next, you will need some sort of bag to carry your lineman's rope and your tether rope with you. Most saddles come with bags, but if they don't, it's something that you need to be aware of and mindful of. It's very helpful to have a bag right on your saddle that you can take your tethered out and then put your lineman's belt in. It'll keep you organized and it will keep everything on you to keep you as safe as possible. You don't want to be dangling ropes around your neck or over your shoulder because you could end up stepping on those ropes as you climb and get yourself into a hazardous situation. So make sure that you have a bag on your saddle to carry your ropes. It may also be beneficial to have a second bag with you on your saddle to carry more gear into the tree. If you like to have snacks or water, or if you need a spot for your range finder, et cetera, and you wanna have that gear with you in the tree, it's helpful to have a second bag. Not a necessity in your kit, but an option to consider. Next, you are going to need a means to climb the tree. So my favorite way to climb the tree is with climbing sticks. I have a pair here by Muddy and a pair by Hawk. Both of these are great options. There are also other climbing sticks made by other manufacturers and they all pretty much do the same thing. They help you climb the tree in a lightweight, packable, mobile way. There are many other ways to climb the tree, like using climbing spurs, drill and bolt systems, or stepladder steps. My recommendation though, 
keep it simple and just buy yourself a set of climbing sticks. Next, you will need a platform to stand on once you reach your hunting height. I have the Predator platform by Tethered. It's very small, which makes it easy to carry into the woods, makes it lightweight, and it performs very well. It's easy to set up, and it allows me to have a platform that I can actually stand on to relieve some pressure on my legs or my back. I can sort of stretch out in a standing position by standing on the platform. It also provides you with some more shooting options, so a platform, in my opinion, is a must. There are other companies that make platforms similar to this, but just make sure that you're keeping in mind the size and weight of the platform itself. Next, you will need some sort of gear hanger. This is most specifically to hang your bow while you are in your saddle. The first couple times I forgot my gear hanger and I just held my bow the whole time, which was fine for a while, but as the weather got colder and colder, I realized that my hands were frozen within an hour of hunting. So avoid that misery, keep your hands nice and warm in your pockets while you're waiting and get yourself a gear hanger. You can also hang your backpack off of here, maybe a water bottle if you have a clip on it, etc. It's a great spot to hold your gear to keep you comfortable. The next thing you'll need is a bow rope. What I like to do is attach my bow rope to my bow at the bottom of the tree, climb up, pull my bow up, hang the bow up, and then I retrieve in that bow rope. This is an absolute must. You do not want to try and carry your bow up the saddle yourself, like you can sometimes get away with in a tree stand, although you should not do that for your own safety. With the saddle, you're going to be either hanging climbing sticks or hanging the platform, and you're going to put yourself at an extreme safety risk if you try and hold the bow with you, or even if you have it strapped to a backpack or something, don't do it. Get a bow rope. They're cheap and affordable. Just do it. The last piece of gear that you will need to go saddle hunting are some sort of attachments to carry your climbing sticks up with you and or your platform. I like to use these rubber twists by Hawk. Again, there are a lot of different manufacturers, a lot of different ways that you can do this, but this is what I recommend. These twists attach around my climbing sticks and around my platform. So as I climb, I am hands free until I get to my spot where I'm ready to hang the stick or ready to hang the platform. And then I'm able to detach that from my saddle easily and get set up. Without some sort of attachment, you are going to be unable to climb the tree and set your gear in a safe way. Now let's move into some extras. Like I mentioned earlier, a ropeman is a additional piece of gear that is not 100% necessary when you get started. Again, I would recommend two ropemans, one on your lineman's belt and one on your tether. Next is something called a recliner. It's essentially a piece of fabric that wraps around your back and allows you to take some of the pressure off where the saddle is actually holding you. If you struggle with back pain, this may become a more important piece of gear to you, but to me, it's not a necessity. It's definitely an extra. And finally, the last additional piece of gear or optional piece of gear would be knee pads or some sort of pad to put around the tree. The reason for this is to keep yourself comfortable when you're in a seated position in your saddle. When you're sitting and your knees are bent, naturally they rest up against the tree. And if you are someone who likes to sit for a long period of time, by the end of your hunt, your knees will be sore and irritated. So throwing on a pair of knee pads or throwing a pad around the tree can definitely help you become more comfortable. It's not something that I use on short hunts, but if I know I'm going out for a long sit, it's definitely something that I like to bring with me. Again, it is not a mandatory piece of gear. It's just an optional addition. So that is it, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video is so helpful for you if you are someone interested in saddle hunting. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will do my absolute best to help you guys out. 
that's it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one